Welcome back, everybody. It's another edition of New Guitar Day. And the cat has disappeared quickly. But she was there in the beginning, and that's what matters. So what we have here today is New uh, Exchange Guitar Day. Today is September the 3rd, 2021, an absolutely stunningly beautiful late summer's day. We're in the final weeks of summer for 2021. And this is a replacement guitar. The other Squire Mini Jazzmaster did not live up to my expectations. I'm not an overly choosy guy, but I felt that it had a blem, and I just couldn't live with it. So, we sent it back. We patiently waited two weeks, and this is its replacement. And we're going to cross our fingers that it was inspected better than the other one, at least from a quality control point of view. Cross our fingers. Big unveiling. I'm just going to take a cursory look at it. See that it's what we hope it will be. And we definitely, fret ends are a bit sharp compared to the other one, but the fretboard does not have that mark that I just did not like. You can pop this off. back and for the initial inspection we're going to give it a thumbs up it doesn't have any neck pocket cracks neck pocket feels good so we're just going to go tune it up stretch the strings and play it and then we'll come back but uh looks like we did did well in returning the other ones so we'll be back Okay, we're back for the conclusion of New Guitar Day. Squire Mini Jazz Master number two, the sequel. Just played it for two hours. Feels great, sounds good. It's an inexpensive guitar, marketed for kids, but a fun guitar for adults. Well, I have no complaints other than the fret ends are a bit sharp. According to the tag, this guitar was actually made in March of 2021 and here we are September so it's been sitting in shipping containers and in boxes and in warehouses and maybe a little bit of moisture in the air I have no idea it starts its life in Indonesia makes its way to I think Arizona or San Bernardino I'm not sure where Fender's warehouse is and then they shoot it to Kansas City and it sits there and then comes back to Montana so I'm going to let it acclimate for a little while before I do anything Action seems a little high, but that doesn't bother me. Intonation seems okay. Relief on the neck seems fine for the moment. Again, I usually don't touch that until I've had it for a couple of weeks. But it, you know, looks great. And it doesn't have that annoying flaw on the fifth fret that I just wasn't going to live with. Uh, and this one, obviously, as you can see, the maple fretboard is exactly what I would expect, even on a budget guitar. No outstanding mineral streaks. I guess some people like that. The strings were pretty corroded. Frets are a little rough feeling, but that's something that you just play out. After the first hour, my fingers were black, but now they're not quite as black, so that's just oxidation on the strings. And I'm sure they put the cheapest strings known to humankind on these guitars from the factory, so... Someday I'll get around to changing them. And that's about it. We're just waiting to hear from a uh, musician's friend about the abysmal experience in round one. Maybe we'll never hear anything from them, and if that's the case, it'll certainly factor into my choice next time I decide to buy a guitar. Not that they care, because again, I'm the king of budget guitars, and whether I buy from them or not, I'm sure they could give a flying hoot, so... I don't think that will factor into it, but it would be good business sense to at least deal with me. So we'll see what they do. So anyways, 
As the custom is, I will repeat the date one more time. It is September the 3rd, 2021. The time is flying by. And again, a stunningly beautiful late summer's day, about 73 degrees outside, clear, sunny, beautiful. And again, this is the Squire Mini Jazzmaster. We thank you for joining us. This will probably be the last new guitar or used guitar for quite a while. Need to sell some guitars. Too many guitars. That's okay. Can one really have too many guitars? We'll answer that question on our next New Guitar Day, when and if that happens. So thanks for joining us. If if you want a, a fun guitar, I, I highly recommend this guitar. Again, I not bagging on the guy who put the uh, video up on YouTube that this was the worst guitar he ever owned. You know, his taste is different than mine. He may have gotten a bad guitar. I've had two of these now. I have none of the issues that he's had. I will say that I'm not sure why they ship these guitar with nines on the strings because for a short scale guitar, you really have to play very light, which I actually enjoy. There's a discipline when you change guitars, when you go from a 25 inch scale to this and the 25 has nines on it. When you play this, you really have to play really light. You can't push too hard or it does go out of tune and that can be frustrating. So you just have to remind yourself, just a very light touch, but uh, it seems put together well, fit and finish. For you know, they're selling these now for 189 bucks, and if you do a little wheeling and dealing, you can probably get it for a bit less. And I think it's worth every penny of it because again, it's an unusual guitar. And that is all. The bloviation ends here. Thank you again. Welcome back, everybody. We're now in September. It is September the 19th, 2021, the final days of summer. Before I put this video together, I've had this guitar for three weeks now. This is the replacement guitar that I got. And I like it very much. I have to say that this guitar takes a little while to break in. It just seems to take a while to settle in, more so than most other guitars. It still has the tuning issues, which I think are probably correctable if I put uh, thicker strings on it, which I'm too cheap to put on now. So I've learned with these guitars, with the short scale guitars, it's absolutely critical if you have the nines on there that you really have to just play incredibly light. It feels like the nut probably isn't cut deep enough, but I have a feeling just based on my experience of the one mini that I did put tens on that that problem seemed to just alleviate. So these are just really light strings and with a short scale, it just really, you have to play with a very light touch. So I'm gonna put this video together. I just wanted to add this three weeks owning this guitar. Enjoy it very much. It's a nice guitar.